What is going on people, it is Aeros Reviews here, back at you with another review. Sure enough, Season 3 of Adventure Time has given me an episode that I can spend enough time on a review talking about. My first review was the episode of What Was Missing, which while being my favorite episode of the show so far, the review I gave it was by far my worst. What is this 4 minute garbage? I will definitely be doing a review of that on Cartoon Discussions, but that's not the topic for today. Today we'll be talking about the Adventure Time episode, Butopia. The episode starts out on a stormy night when Susan Strong comes in and needs Finn and Jake's help. And on a minor note, I really do like the genuine surprise and the lightning effects they add. But the animation gets even better at later points in this episode, and I'm sure the people that have seen this episode know exactly what I'm talking about. Now before I go any further, I should probably explain who this character is. Basically, in a previous episode, Susan and her tribe of people have been living in the sewers, and it turns out both herself and her people are scared of everything and can't talk right. That's all you need to know if you haven't seen that episode. Anyways, Finn and Jake discuss what to do, and we get to see one of the biggest things going for this episode, and that's the characters. This episode does everything right with the characters. They are complex, likable, and just fun to watch. And the characters help invest me in the situation, but we'll get to that later in the review. But back to talking about the characters, they do everything right. Their actions are all justified and make sense, and you can really relate to them. Jake is very conflicted and scared to go with Susan, which is understandable considering all the crazy things that happened in the episode she was in. Finn wants to go with her, which makes perfect sense because, well, what happened in the last episode she was in? He thinks Susan is a human just like him, and throughout the series we get to see him lament the fact that he's the only human, and he's really happy to have someone to actually relate to. Finn and Jake decide to go and they bring along some fire and they have a really nice setup here jake is mainly used for jokes in the episode which is another strength of the episode it's actually really funny and the jokes in this episode have some really good comedic timing i don't want to spoil any of the gags for anyone that hasn't seen this episode so just go watch it finn is constantly trying to understand or relate to susan throughout the episode even when things get a little crazy and a big part of the comedy in this episode is jake's reaction to finn trying to listen to susan say some really weird things then they get down to the sewers and this is where the things in this episode start to become really apparent one of the big things in this episode is the caves. It's very interesting, unique, and visually interesting. One thing I love about Adventure Time to an extent with Cartoon Network is that it's so unique and different. Aside from stupid reboots, the network usually pulls out great shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, Steven Universe, and so on that are very unique and different. And let me tell you, if I say that this episode is different from most things in Adventure Time and it works, then that means this episode is seriously doing something right. But yeah, the background in this cave does look really cool and the animators definitely do put in a lot of effort to make it look good and visually interesting. Now, of course, we have seen this location in previous episodes, but what I really do like is when they are on the boat. This episode takes something in a previous episode and builds off it. It's nice to see this location that we really haven't seen much aside from that one episode. Then Susan tells us the place where the fish people are living isn't where they used to live. They used to live in a place called Butopia. Then Susan tries shoving Finn's head in water, thinking he has gills. Now, one thing I really like about this episode is the twist at the end. Spoiler alert, but at the end of the episode, what happens is that Susan puts Finn's hand in her hat, the little thing, whatever that's supposed to be on her head, and Finn figures out if she is a human or not. Now, the episode is smart for not telling us because in this episode, it builds up arguments for it being on either sides. Some of the evidence supporting her being a fish person is assuming Finn has gills, living with fish people in the first place, having a lot of similarities with the fish people. The evidence supporting her being a human is kind of Finn's reaction at the end, and she does seem similar to humans in a way. And I know I just said that she has a lot of similarities with fish people, but the show definitely has a conflicting aspect. So there are points on both sides, and it's up to the viewers to decide if she's a human or if she's a fish person. Now, I have my own theories and opinions on what she really is, but like the episode, I'm gonna keep that a secret. Now, I'm not entirely sure if there is an episode later down the line saying if she is or isn't a fish person, because I just recently finished season 3. So for any Adventure Time fans that have seen this episode, can you please tell me in the comments if there is an episode telling the audience that? Oh, and please don't ruin the results for me, I just want to know if there is an episode explaining it. Anyways, they take a boat. And then this episode does exactly what a good episode should do. Take something that should be boring and make it fun and funny. For example, the boat scene has Jake singing and making all of these other little jokes. There's a great variation and I'm really invested and interested in something that could be boring and not entertaining. Also something else this episode is smart about is with the boat ride is that the writers know if there's no jokes they can make or nothing fun they can do, they try adding these little obstacles and suspenseful moments that really make you fear for the characters. Of course Adventure Time is an episodic show and you know the three of them, well actually Finn and Jake are gonna make it out fine. They could always kill off Susan considering at the time she had only been in one previous episode, so... Anyways, you know Finn and Jake were gonna make it out fine, but it's more about the fun, energetic ride than the ending. Well, the ending if you're looking at it through that point of view. There's one thing I do want to discuss about the ending, but we'll talk about it when we get to the ending. A pool toy passes by and Jake says she's crazy. Now, I'm sure at this point you will agree with Jake in thinking that the pool toy is harmless, but keep in mind you're watching Adventure Time, so you know there's gonna be some kind of twist. And sure enough, there is later in the episode. Something I really do like about the scenes on the boat is how natural and nice the dialogue feels. Finn keeps defending Susan and Jake says that she's going crazy, but it doesn't get repetitive and it doesn't 
doesn't last for too long, and the writers always change it up so the little conversations are always at least a little different. It's not like Jake is being a jerk, he's just saying he thinks it's a little weird and considering what Susan's doing, his actions are completely justified and it doesn't feel nasty or out of character. And on top of that, of course Jake is Jake and he's acting really goofy while all this is happening, at one point even turning into a clam and doing a little dance. So the tone doesn't feel mean or nasty, it just feels like a natural little subplot between the two characters that is interesting and understandable. Then Susan has a boat between two walls that like smash together. It's hard to explain and I don't want to play the episode due to copyright reasons, but hopefully when I edit this video I can try to show you what's going on. And this scene goes above and beyond and really takes the character traits in this episode to a whole new level. Finn is very trusting of Susan and can go through a situation where he very well knows he can be killed with a determined trait face while Jake is acting really scared. Also I will say some of Jake's comments and just his reaction to the whole thing after it happens is really funny. As I said earlier, in terms of comedy, Jake really steals this episode. And even though, again, you know Finn and Jake are gonna make it out just fine, the episode does have a little surprise in that it breaks half the boat and the characters only narrowly escape. This is a nice little touch added to the episode and I'm glad they decided to add it. Then Susan starts describing a love glove when Finn asks what they are. Uh, didn't we already have a scene earlier of Susan pointing to the pool toy and calling it that? Okay, now to be fair, she didn't specifically call it a love glove, but Finn and Jake probably should have figured it out by now because I figured it out. Did the writers forget about that scene or did they just think the audience would have ignored it, forgot about that? Because even watching this episode for the first time, I made the correct assumption that the pool toy was a love glove because it was pretty dang obvious. It's a small thing, but it does make that other scene a little bit pointless. And heck, if they remove the scene when the pool toys do get revealed, it might actually be funny for them to build up these creatures for the entire episode and then have them be cute little pool toys. Then the gang finally makes it to Butopia. It looks really destroyed run down, but if someone throws fire in the pillar thing, it'll be destroyed to the beautiful city it once was, and Susan and our people can go back to their normal life. Then the pool toys come out, and when Jake hits it with his pickaxe hand, these gas ghost things come out. The love gloves, as Susan calls them. Something I noticed, though, is in this shot, the skull that the love glove is munching on looks a lot like Fiona's head from the Fiona and Cake episode. I wonder if that was intentional or was an actual easter egg. However, the love gloves outnumber Finn and Jake, and Jake stretches up to throw the fire at the tower. Also, I like the little joke they have about Jake finally having to listen to Susan. Throughout the entire episode, he's acting like she's crazy, and now that he finally has to listen to her, is actually pretty funny. Susan and Finn fight them off, while Jake rallies up the fire throw it in. I could see some people getting really annoyed at this, and I'm not trying to defend it, but I think it is a little bit funny, especially because the tension just dies out of nowhere. But a love glove stops him, and he throws it in. Um, okay, what was even the purpose of having the love glove attack him in the first place? That aside, Butopia turns to its normal state, and all the love gloves die. Susan wants them to stay, and we get a twist ending that I talked about earlier. And the episode ends on a little bit of mystery. So what works in this episode? Well, again, the whole cavern motif thing in this episode looks very unique and visually interesting. On top of that, as I said many times before, Jake is hilarious in this episode. Also, the episode has some really awesome characters of Jake, Finn, and even, to an extent, Susan, and I love the ways all of them interact and bounce off each other throughout the episode. Also, of course, the twist ending is really cool, and the episode always tries entertaining. There isn't much in this episode that is dull or low energy. Sure, there are some kind of stupid and kind of annoying parts, like the whole useless pull toy thing I talked about. For the most part, the episode was just pleasant, and that's one of the best ways I would describe the episode. It's just pleasant. Honestly, this is one of my favorite episodes of Adventure Time. The only episodes I like more off the top of my head are what was missing in Daddy's Dungeon. Season 3 of Adventure Time was my favorite season so far, and I hope that seasons 4, 5, and 7 are just as good. I've heard some really bad things about season 6 though, so I hope and pray to God that I don't have to do a negative review on a season 6 episode of Adventure Time. But if there's an episode I do want to talk about, then just don't be surprised if you see me do a review on one. But hey, I still have seasons 4 and 5, which I heard some really good things about. So if you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Avis Reviews. Avis Reviews, signing out.